Monsieur Morgan Mes condoléances, Monsieur Morgan. Nous comprenons que c'est difficile pour vous, mais nous devons lever le corps maintenant. Monsieur Morgan, you have to let them take her, please. No. I am not leaving her. I'm not leaving her. Let me go. Don't touch her. Don't you dare touch her. Ce n'est pas raisonnable. Elle ne peut pas rester ici. Madam Dune? What are you doing here? What do you mean? It's Tuesday. It's Wednesday, Monsieur. Wednesday? Are you sure? Yes, Monsieur. to make you some breakfast, monsieur? No, thank you. How about some lunch later? No, thank you. I'm going out to lunch. But it's Wednesday, monsieur. Your lunch with Madame Léry is on Thursdays, unless you change it. Uh, yeah, but uh, no, but no, don't answer that. Oui, bonjour. Oui, Madame Karen, il est là. Yes, sir. I would like a ham and cheese baguette to go with the pickle on the side. Je comprends pas, monsieur. Jambon. That one. 
take the pickles off and put the pickles on the side. Non, c'est bon, laisse, je m'en occupe, je le connais. Uh, like always, monsieur, uh, no pickles and water? Thank you. Il est américain, il vient ici toutes les semaines depuis trois ans, il parle toujours pas un mot de français. Yeah. Attends, tu vas voir. Uh, Dites-moi, pourquoi les Américains font toujours comme si uh, dans les autres pays, il fallait que tout le monde parle leur langue? Toi, il est un peu moins arrogant, hein? Faites un effort. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> tu vois, je t'ai dit, c'est un mot. <laughs> Thank you, mademoiselle. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Now speak after me. Je fais. Je t'aime. Can I eat my lunch now? You're never going to learn the language this way, Sherry. I don't have to. I have you. But what if? What if we enjoy la déjeuner? Le déjeuner. Le déjeuner, s'il vous plaît. S'il te plaît. S'il te plaît. Regardez où vous allez! Bon, enfin, ça va! Ouais. Pas de sa faute, c'est le chauffeur, c'est pas conduire! Non, 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 tu te mets, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ça va, monsieur? You okay? Yes, thank you. Pardon. The steps are tricky when they're wet. They can be. Thank you. You're very kind. Ça peut rien, monsieur. Would you maybe like me to walk you home? Do you live near here? Thank you. That that's not really necessary. I really don't mind. I've got time. See now, I'm now officially Girl Scout material. Pardon? Sorry. Uh. Um. Uh, it's not far. This is uh, my place. You've been very kind. May I buy you a cup of coffee? I'm sorry, but I can't. I've got to go to class. But thank you very much for the invitation. You're a student? No, I'm a teacher. Oh, really? So am I. Really? What do you teach? Well, so was I. <laughs> Philosophy. And you? Cha-cha. Au revoir. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.
Susan. Susan? It's 7 a.m. Why would Susan call you at 7 a.m.? Is she there? Hi, Dad. Is everything all right? Yeah. Where's Susan? Um, yeah, she, she's just visiting her mom for a couple days. Then why are you whispering? Kyle's here. He had a bad dream. Yeah, well, I, I was just checking in. Uh, how is everyone? We're fine. Did you buy your tickets yet? I see. What are the plans? Hang on. Hello, Grandpa. Hello, Carl. How are you? Not bad. And you? Not so bad myself. Mom said we're not going to see you this summer. Uh, l listen, Carl. Um, I, I gotta go. Will you, will you tell your father we'll talk another time? Okay. She's waiting, Monsieur Morgan. For quite a while, I'm at Ada. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm late, Colette. I lost track of all time. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. You are forgiven. Ah, yes, thank you. Merci. Merci. No need for a bad, uh, how would you say, mauvaise conscience? Conscience? Conscience. Yes, so it's the same, only you say it differently. Isn't that, I think, strange? We say science and you say science. We say conscience and you say... Conscience. Conscience. It's a mystery, no? Yeah. I'm so fond of our little lessons with you. I hope you will never get tired of my terrible accent. Avez-vous choisi, messieurs, dames? Will you order, maybe, in French? Have some practice? Not if you're hungry. <laughs> okay. All right, I will order. The same like always. Oui, yes. Il est timide, c'est tout. Chercher quelque chose en particulier, monsieur Non, merci. Far away from home, eh Actually, this is my home. Paris, that is. Really What's your area Saint Germain. I mean, as a collector. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually a collector. I'm, I'm thinking about it all. Well, let me tell you something. And don't get me wrong, small goals. That's what you have to do. Keep your expectations low. To get started at your age. <laughs> I've been doing this for 35 years, and I tell you, I have yet to scratch the surface. Really? I thought stamp collecting was for kids. Trust me. It's just starting to get interesting. I took on Scandinavia in the 70s. But after a few years, I realized there was no way I was going to get together a decent collection in one lifetime. So, uh, I narrowed it down. To what? Sweden. Now I'm starting to look at Iceland. 
Interesting island. Not a lot of mail. If you want my advice, think Eastern Europe. Romania is down that way to your left. What a surprise. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah. I'm getting off here. Me too. Me too. Where are you going? Home. I'm, I'm, I'm going home. And I really don't have to say everything twice. I'm afraid it needs to stop. This is a bit far from your home, unless you really like to walk. I, I do, but to tell you the truth, I, I didn't really want to get off until I said hello to you. Really? Hmm. So, hello again. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'll get the next one back. You don't have to wait with me, you know. My name is Pauline Lobby. Et vous? Matthew. Matthew Morgan. Happy to do your acquaintance, Matthew Morgan. Make your acquaintance. Yeah. No, it's make your acquaintance, not do your acquaintance. Oh, okay. I never understand the difference between the two. Yeah, it's, it's really quite... Confusing. Maybe if you're not too busy, you could come by my school sometime. I mean, only of course if you have time. I have more time than I need. You could take a lesson. First one is free. Oh, great. <laughs> Here. It's my school. I work. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. I don't work Thursday, but you can come anytime. Well, uh, thank you. The bus is here. Thank you. There are 24 
different kinds of birds on Romanian stamps. And that's just between 1964 and 1994. Is that a lot? I have no idea. Matthew, I'm not late, am I? Oh, no, not at all, no, no. This is very exciting. Um, maybe this isn't such a great idea, Colette. What do you mean? Well, I won't be able to understand the instructions and the clothes. Oh, no, 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 excuse me, this time, Matthew. You. you brought me here now, we will go in now. I will translate. I, I don't know anything about dancing. I, I don't dance, I never did dance. I, I... bien dans le miroir. Alors, on va reprendre une fois le pas de base et après, on va commencer à danser à deux. Euh, donc, vous vous rappelez, on pense bien à ses déhanchés, on descend tu bien les hanches dans le sol et c'est la hanche qui descend, c'est pas l'autre qui remonte. D'accord On commence à gauche. Deux, trois, cha 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 et deux, trois, cha cha cha, deux, trois, cha cha, base et deux, trois, Cha cha cha, 6, 7, cha cha side et 2, 3, cha cha cha, 2, 3, cha cha cha. Et eh ben voilà! fermez les yeux et vous allez laisser votre partenaire vous guider. Très bien, on se revoit la semaine prochaine, au revoir tout le monde. I hope you enjoyed your lesson. Very much, thank you. Mais vous êtes un très bon professeur. Merci. Et vous parlez très bien anglais. Oui, mon père était anglais. C'est une langue que j'aime beaucoup. Oh, me too. Matthew teaches me. We don't want to keep you. Come back soon. Thank you. Shuffle gauche, pivot demi, pivot.
qui vous car punch clap. C'est clair pour tout le monde Monsieur, excusez-moi, mais vous arrivez trop tard. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, bah, you, you are uh, too late. Le joli scène qui se classe, startait à rien avoir go. Excusez-moi, je reviens tout de suite. Et j'arrive. Je suis ici pour Pauline. Monsieur, c'est bon Alain, je m'en occupe. Je suis désolé, je ne voulais pas interrompre. C'est OK. Tu veux nous rejoindre Non, je ne pense pas. J'ai une heure de plus. Tu veux venir et regarder You're not obliged to have lunch with me, Polly. I know. But you're obliged to have lunch with me, Mr. Morgan. You wait for me here. I'll be right back. I've got a surprise for you. This will be our bench. You got us hot dogs? I thought maybe you were homesick. Careful! Oh. What a klutz I am. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have made you eat out here. I like it here. Anyway, I could use a little chaos in my life. I'm afraid it's wrong. That's okay. So you think I'm chaotic? Unpredictable. Well, I hope it didn't ruin your appetite. Absolutely not. Hmm. You shaved your beard. Yeah. Don't you like it? I do. But I like your beard. It reminded me of my father. I hope you like your father. I did. He's dead. Well, I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. I didn't realize that. Hmm. 
Your hair. What? It's, it's so like my wife's hair. Well, I hope you like your wife. I did. She's dead. Matthew. That's not funny. I'm not kidding. She died. Uh, three years, two months, and 11 days ago. You want to talk about it? No. Oh, shit. Pauline, uh, putain. Je suis désolé. Pardon. Matthew, this is Lucien. Lucien, this is Matthew. Salut. I'm really glad you came by. Bon, euh, faut qu'on y aille. I'll see you soon, okay? Yeah. Allez, on est en retard là, tout le monde nous attend. Bye, Matthew. Bye. Faut que t'arrêtes de traiter tes élèves comme des petits choux perdus. C'est pas mon élève. Apartment. My wife found it for us. Have you read all those books? I'm afraid so. What are you doing with them? I'm selling them. I don't want them anymore. You still have someone who wants them, though? No, I don't. Have a car? I wish you'd sound a little less surprised, but yes, I do. I'm sorry, Matthew, but I did meet you on the bus. Yes. Imagine that. Thank you. I have a reservation. Certainement. Et à quel nom? Morgan. Vous me suivre, je vous prie. Merci. Pauline, come in here. We'll take this table. Monsieur. Mademoiselle. Monsieur, cette table is it's perfect. Thank you. And we'll have two glasses of your best champagne. See to play. Certainement. Merci. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. I was a professor at Princeton. Did you ever attend university? No. Maybe I would have liked it, I don't know. It's too late now anyway. It's never too late to learn something, Pauline. My mother always complained that I didn't have any ambition. She wanted me to become a real dancer. You are a real dancer. No, I'm not. Yeah. Pas du tout. Mm. 
You know when you love something so much, you start to hate it? Yes. Is that what happened to you in your books? I stopped looking at my books when I stopped loving life. Why did you stop loving life? Well, you don't love life itself. You, you, you love uh, places, animals, people, memories, food, literature, music. And sometimes you meet someone who requires all the love you have to give. And if you lose that someone, you think everything else is going to stop too. But everything else just keeps on going. Giroud said you can miss a single being even though you're surrounded by countless others. Those people are, are, are like, uh, like extras. They cloud your vision. They're a meaningless crowd. They, they're an unwelcome distraction. So, you seek oblivion in solitude. But solitude only makes you wither. So I'm an unwelcome distraction. I'm a cloud. You are the only part of my life I haven't figured out yet. Merci. Monsieur. Merci. Pauline, I can't let you run me here. I can row. No, no, I can't let a woman row me. You <laughs> both. Do I have to remind you that we live in the 21st century? Okay, how about this one? There's a crack in everything. That's, That's how the how light, light gets, gets in. in. See? I told you. I still think you're wrong, Matthew. I don't think you have everything in your life figured out. Why would you think that? Huh? Tell me. I think the day we figure out everything about our lives is the day we die. One more time. No, but I've been the penalty. Is that You'll be late for your appointment, Pauline. You better take a taxi. Bon, rentrez sur Paris. Oui, je vais dans le sixième. Ah, ben, je peux vous amener si vous voulez. Ce sera génial. Bonjour. Jérôme can give me a ride. That's great. You think it's cute? In a George Hamilton sort of way, yeah. Who's George Hamilton? Okay, someone will be there in half an hour. Merci. You gonna be okay? On your way. I'll call you tonight. Oh, absolutely. Now okay. go. fool, darling. Just an old fool. Uh, 
Are you okay? Yeah. No. I don't know. You want to go home? No. Do you? I am home. I want to die here, Matt. I have a better idea. What? Let's live here forever. <laughs> Mathieu? Is something the matter? No, 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 not at all. I have to tell you something. That makes two of us. I have something to tell you, too. I'm leaving town. My cousin's husband died, and she has a big house, and he's all alone now, and she asked me to come live with her. I'm very sorry, Matthew, but I said yes. That's wonderful, Colette. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm going home, too. Monsieur Morgan Monsieur Morgan What happened, Matthew? I botched an attempt to self-medicate. What does that mean? It means I took too many sleeping pills. Or too few. Depends on how you want to look at it. Can I ask you why you did that? Because I met you. Don't get me wrong. It's not your fault, Polly. But you helped me realize I was just biding my time.
You think they have a coat anywhere in this hospital? Yeah, I'll get you one. And when I come back, I'll tell you about a decision I made. I'll go now. Dad. Miles. Pauline, this is my son, Miles. Miles, this is Pauline. Hi. It's nice to meet you. I'm gonna go get you that Coke. Okay, thanks. How you feeling? I'm feeling fine. Jesus, Dad. What were you trying to do, punish us? Actually, I wasn't thinking about you. Imagine my surprise. You shouldn't have come all this way just because I failed a suicide. Can we at least acknowledge that this is awkward? First they tell me you almost died, then I come here and find you in the arms of some woman not even close to half your age that I know nothing about. There's nothing awkward about Pauline. I brought you one too. Thank you, but no thanks. I'm gonna go outside and see if I can find Karen. Karen's here too. Thank you. You have a son? I have a son and a daughter. You were going to tell me about a decision you'd made. I can wait. Stop front. I'll see you. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. What are you doing with my dad? I'm not doing anything with him. I'm his friend. He hasn't told me a word about you. He hasn't told me a word about you either. Do you really think that I don't know what's going on? What's going on? My father is not some helpless old man to be taken advantage of. Your father tried to kill himself, Miles. Maybe you want to think about that before you try and figure me out. You make friends fast. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Our future stepmother, for all I know. No, really, who is it? No, really, ask Dad. <sighs> An overdose is not my favorite excuse for coming to Paris, but I do appreciate the effort. Hello, Karen. Oh, how are you doing, Dad? And what are you doing with that French bimbo? The next time you call her that will be the last time we speak. You mean that, don't you? Jesus, Karen, what are you doing? This is a hospital. A European hospital. Huh. Yeah, you should go up, little brother. No, but qu'est-ce que c'est que ça? Vous êtes folle! On fume pas ici, vous êtes à l'hôpital. Sorry, what did you say? You want me to take a wild guess? No! Allez, sortez d'ici avant que j'appelle la sécurité. Votre père a besoin de repos. Sortez, maintenant! 
We want you to come home, Dad. All right, okay. She wants you to come home. Damn. Isn't that the same thing? I guess. In the night? I can't stay here. Me neither. Let's go to a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. I want my own room. Yeah, I want you to have your own room. Hello. So what's the plan? I'm going to soak in my tub, and I'm going to call my significant other, and I'm going shopping. What about Dad? We can see him tomorrow. You are the nurse. He needs his rest. I thought you didn't speak French. Of course I do, don't you? Bonjour. Bonjour. Deux chants, s'il vous plaît. Uh, pour moi, un benoît, uh, pas pour lui. D'accord, c'est possible. I got yeah. mine. Don't dwell. I'll see you later. So you have, a, you have a key to this place? Matthew asked me to get some things for him. You seem to know your way around here pretty well. It's not heart surgery. Brain surgery. I just want what's best for my father. What do you think that is? I, uh... I think he needs his family now. I think you're right. Are you gonna stay here? In case Matthew needs to reach you? No. We're at the Hotel Sanat down the street. 
I was gonna bring him this. You might as well take it to him. It's E.E. E. Cummings, he's into that. You know, if I had a father like Matthew, I would be very happy. Why, because he's such a shining example of fatherhood? That he's still alive. Oh, well, miss. What are you doing here, Polly? I'm having dinner with you. You know the day I met you on the bus? I felt like I knew you. Felt like I did. And I thought... And you thought what? I thought you didn't have anyone. You know, like I don't have anyone. And... I thought maybe I'd been looking in all the wrong places. And maybe you and I could be... family. Pauline. But it turns out you have a whole family waiting for you back in America. I'm a lousy father. Why'd you say that? Joan wanted kids. I just wanted her. So I wanted her to be happy, and it seemed like a good reason at the time. They say you do, but I never grew into being a father. I don't know how Joan did it. She had so much love to give. I mean, the kids would, would make a mistake, hurt themselves. I'd go crazy. Joan would just come out, pick them up, dust them off, dry their tears, and send them off again. All I knew was, I didn't want to be like my father. And I ended up just like him. Your children and grandchildren don't want you to die, Matthew. And I don't want you to die. You're outnumbered. Have a rain check. Take a rain check. Take a rain check. Please, Matt. Do this for me. I'm done. I want to go home. Hello, Rachel. You let you near. Hello, 
Nova too. Exactly the look I was going for. Come on, let's get on the same page about Dad. You freak me out. Seriously, Dad, why don't you just move back home? I mean, we can't look after you here. I don't need looking and after. And for the money that you'll get for the house and for the apartment, you can live in a palace in Chicago or Maine. I'm not moving to Maine. Well, you can move wherever you want. I have a better idea. I stay right here. Well, let's at least sell St. Mallow. I am not selling your mother's house, and I am not having this discussion with you. Yes, you are, because half of that house is ours, and we get a say in this, too. Fine. I'll buy you out. Jesus, Dad, you really think this is about the fucking money? You really think this is what Mom would want? Think she'd want you to die here, alone, lonely, and miserable? I am not lonely, and I am not miserable, and if you'll excuse me, there is some place I have to be. Dad, we have to talk about this. No, we don't. Oh. Oh, well, this can't be good. <laughs> what are you doing awake? Is the house on fire? Well, it better be, because you are in deep shit if it's not. I'm serious. Has your IQ dropped dramatically since I've left? my own dysfunctional family from killing each other. Hmm. Time's your flight tomorrow? I think I'm gonna stick around for a few days. Oh yeah? What about Susan and Kyle? Well, uh, I talked to Susan this morning. They'll survive without me. Yeah, I bet they will. What's that supposed to mean? How long are you gonna keep this up? Keep what up? Susan left you five weeks ago, Miles. How do you know about that? Well, she told me, you idiot. You gonna be okay? Of course I will. If not, I can always talk to Dad, right? Oh, you're hysterical. Look, I really do have to go, or I am gonna miss my flight. And then Laura will miss her play, and then Ray might hurt her. Of course, she won't miss it, and then she might hurt him, but either way, they're gonna end up behind bars, and man, after all this shopping, I am fresh out of bail money. I will call you, and then we'll talk, okay? Mm. You are my favorite brother. I'm your only brother. Details. Charles the Gold. So you and my dad are not? No, we're not. Then I don't get it. What don't you get? Why do you hang out with my dad? 
Matt needs someone to take care of him. Yeah. I can imagine why he's letting you do it. Why are you doing it? I'm good at it. So how good are you at uh, taking care of yourself? Hmm? Wait, let me guess. You suck at it, right? Okay, now it's my turn. For what? Asking questions you don't like to answer. Fair enough. Why are you so angry? My wife is pregnant. And that makes you angry? It's not mine. But that's not why I'm angry. Matt thinks you're angry at him. And what exactly makes you uh, an authority on the subject? I've seen the way he looks at you when you leave the room. What are you doing tonight? Reservation for Luby? Or Morgan? Oh, yes. Yes? Hello. Thank you. What are you doing here? Pauline asked me to dinner. Oh. What are you doing here? I asked her to dinner. Oh. Is Karen coming too? No, she had to go home. Family crisis. What about you? My flight is tomorrow. I'm sure Susan and Carl can't wait to have you back. I'm having the uh, foie gras. How about you? When was it? Oh, good evening. Bonsoir. You look very beautiful. Merci. Sit down, please. Merci. This is a very nice restaurant. It is, yeah. <laughs> Have you been here before? No. I should go. Please stay. I want you to. Well, if he wants to leave. You want him to stay too, don't you? Of course. Say, Pauline. Have you ever been to Saint Malo? No. But you know, I've always wanted to go. I hear it's really beautiful. Did Karen put you up to this? I can think for myself, Dad. I've already had this discussion with her, and I don't want it again with you. Of course. Just do what you do best, shut everyone up. What's in Saint Malo? Uh, nothing. We, we had a house there. We have a house there. It's my mother's favorite place in the world. It's also uh, the only thing that uh, we could all ever agree on. I told you, you'll get the money. I told you. It's not about that. Please, can we try to... You know, you're not the only one with feelings about that house, but you have no consideration for anyone but yourself. I used to think that when Mom was still alive, you bothered Don't to bring think your about mother her. into this. Now She's I got nothing to do with it. She has everything to do with this. If you're going to spend the rest of your life being angry with me, that's your decision. But I am not selling Joan's house to a stranger, and that is final. It's our house, and I don't even want you to sell it. But if Mom was here... Well, she's not here. She's gone. And I would give anything to take her place. Anything. 
But I can't. She died and I'm still here. Have you any idea what that leaves me with? What does that leave you with? It leaves me with absolutely nothing, Miles. Mademoiselle, si ces messieurs ne se calment pas, je vais être obligé de leur demander de sortir. All right, I'm leaving. No, 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 it's okay. I'll leave. Forget it. Enjoy your dinner. Where's your manners? Pauline invited you to dinner. Watch your own manners, Dad. God damn it, Miles. What do you want from me? I want you to stop acting like you're the only one who lost her. Why are you angry now? Miles! Adam! Listen, I'm sorry. Hey, nobody asked you to fix this. You hear me? You cannot fix it. You're not that good. Just go away. Very sure. So, like, totally. Yeah. How sure? Dead sure. Sounds good. Yeah. See you soon, Dad. Sooner than you think. Okay, night. Okay, good night. Monsieur? Yes. I would like one of those ham and cheese sandwiches. Could you please take off the pickles? Qu'est-ce que vous avez tous avec ça? Il y a une loi contre les cornichons dans votre pays? Yes, thanks. How much is that? Where's Pauline? She's not here. She called in sick today.
I tried drinking for a while. It didn't work with me at all. You could use some chairs. I'll get you some chairs. I'm sorry about last night. You shouldn't get caught in the middle like this. I got my own problems. I got problems. Do you understand? Yeah. I, I, I know. I'm sorry. I... I'm really very sorry. It's... It, it's... Just that. What is it, Matthew? You are the crack in my world. Do you want to keep the hangers? No. There are a few things more depressing than empty coat hangers. Where shall we put this in? Uh, I don't know. Um, Do you have big garbage bags or... Or suitcases? Suitcases. Et les valises Do you need the suitcases No, I, I don't need them anymore. No. So, whatever happened to George Hamilton? Who? Jerome, the garçon. <sighs> Did you ever see him again? No. Why not? Couldn't take his eyes off you. Well, you know what, man. What are they like? They're all the same. The way they stare at your tits and pretend not to. Actually, I was hoping I wasn't like that. You're different. That's why I love being with you. You stare at me for no reason. Should I call the police, monsieur? I'm sure that's not necessary. Uh, I'm gonna wait for him.
You want to go in? Do you? I hope you're hungry. Anything I can do? Yeah, you could uh, pick these beans for me. I need a handful of time and open that bottle and pour us a glass. You were wrong about me, you know. Yeah? How? I can think of lots of reasons to stare at you. Really? I could think of about ten of them right now off the top of my head. Okay. You really want to know? I really want to know. Okay, um, you're beautiful. Obviously, you're smart. And I can always tell when you're sad because you hide behind your defiance. When you are. When you're happy, all of you is happy. Even your hair. <laughs> you don't have a mean bone in your body. And I thought they didn't make them like that anymore. You're funny. When you listen, you look interested. You're kind. And you wear your heart on your sleeve, which can be terribly intimidating. And you remind me of Joan. I want you to have the house, Polly. What? I want to give you this house. And I will make sure that you always have enough money to maintain it. Will you do that for me? No, Matthew. This house belongs to your family. Uh, I, th I thought you are my family now. What's wrong, Polly? I don't understand you. I thought I did, but I, I don't. 
You have everything that I want and you don't seem to care. I do care. Then why do you push them away like you do? They're your children. They came here because they're worried about you. You think they love me because of the rules? I think they love you because you're their father. You have this fantasy in your head about the perfect family that you never got to have. Well, I'm telling you, it doesn't exist. You're still here, Matthew. If you want things to be different, you can still change them. It's not too late for that. Believe me, all I am to them is the man who took their mother away from them. What do you mean? The kids wanted her to go home. She wanted to stay in Paris. So I let her. I thought it might help her get well. But the cancer got worse and, and the treatment tortured her. I just didn't want to see her suffer anymore. I didn't want her to be in pain anymore. Maybe I didn't want to be in pain anymore. She didn't want me to tell the kid. She, she wanted to go home, give up the fight, and die in peace. But if she saw the kids, she wouldn't be able to do that. Especially Miles, you know, he would never have let her. She made me promise. And I, I did. You never told them. Well, it was, it was my mistake, not hers. Where's my father? He's fine. I didn't ask you how he is. I asked where he is. Wait, Pauline. I'm sorry. I was worried. Um, would you like to come in? Matthew doesn't know I'm here. Where is he? I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to tell you that. You don't think I have a right to know? No. My father wants to die. And who am I to stop him, right? He didn't want me here when mom was dying. He certainly doesn't want me here now. Miles, I want to tell you something. I think it's okay if I do.
Matt, I'm dying. You're not dying. It wasn't supposed to be like this. It wasn't supposed to be like this. What would you have done if you'd been there? Probably exactly what she was afraid I'd do. summer. She's very beautiful. Who's that? That's my son, Kyle. What? What? I like it that you carry a picture in your wallet and not in your phone like everyone else. It's nice. It's old fashioned. Oh, boy. I like it. Yeah. Well, you're easy to impress. I'll push over. Your son is gorgeous. Yeah, he's the real thing. I need to go to Paris. <laughs> Vous voulez aller à Paris? Yeah, there's only one Paris in France, right? Ouais. We have a Paris in Texas. We have one in Illinois. We have one in Tennessee, New York, Iowa, Ohio, Maine, Wisconsin, Kentucky. We have one in Michigan, Arkansas, and Idaho. And those are only the ones I know. I'm pretty sure he's one in Canada, too.
Dad, if you hurt her, I will kill you. I don't care that you're my son. I will kill you. Monsieur Morgan, there you are. Oh, uh, uh, Madame Dune, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't expecting you. I've brought you your groceries. I will cook you a nice lunch, yes? Thank you very much, but I will prepare my own lunch today. But thank you. But, uh, Monsieur... Uh... Thank you. For everything. Listen, Dad. You're a married man, for Christ's sakes. How dare you do this to Susan and Carl? How dare you do this to Pauline? Did you? Does she know you have a wife and kid? No, I didn't. Yeah, she does. And my marriage is over. What? Susan filed for divorce. Why? What happened? What did you do? I didn't do anything. Can you imagine? It could possibly not be my fault. She left me, Dad. When? Five weeks ago. She met someone else, and that's it. And I didn't tell you, because Mom never liked Susan in the first place. And you never thought I was cut out for the long haul. And I don't particularly enjoy watching you wallow in self-righteousness. Marriage is hard work. You think I didn't work hard enough at this? You have to be willing to make sacrifices. Ah. Uh, what sacrifices did you make exactly? So Kyle's gonna come live with me. What about the hospital? Well, I have to get another job, but I'm gonna make it work. Will this be in Kyle's best interest? That's what he wants. He needs me, so I'm gonna make damn sure I'll be there so he doesn't make the same mistakes that I did. I was there. I told you things, but that didn't stop you. Of course he did, Dad. All my life, he taught me what to think and what to read and what to believe in, but I did not need a teacher. I needed a father. You know, you're gonna have to stop blaming me for everything that goes wrong in your life. All I ever wanted for you was to go out in the world, chase your dreams, find adventure, fall in love, take risks. That's all I wanted for you. Why didn't you ever tell me that? Because I didn't think I had to. Dad, come on. Because I didn't know how... All I ever heard from you is what I did wrong. Because I didn't know how to tell you that I didn't want you to become like me. Dad, I adore you. Blind faith. No, it's that you're wrong. I knew that mom would never love anyone like she loved you. Who wasn't worth it. You know? To this day, 
I don't know why your mother picked me. Matthew? Dad, Pauline told me about Mom. I'm glad she did. I didn't stop her. Well, she didn't want you to. I should have stopped her. <laughs> you knew Mom. You couldn't have. If you want to blame someone, Miles, blame me. I should have told you. I don't blame anyone, Dad. Just wish I could have said goodbye to her. I wanted to say goodbye. I was there. I didn't know how. Well, maybe we can find another way. Remember how she used to light up a room? <laughs> like the sun. <laughs> Pauline does that. Yeah. Don't let her get away. I won't. Don't let her run away. No, I won't. Don't let anybody or anything get in your way. Dad, what? stop it. Okay. Would you do me a favor? Would you tell Pauline? Tell her. Tell her I figured it out. Figured what out? She'll know. You're not left with nothing. You know that, don't you? I do. Okay. Bye.
I miss you, Matthew. I miss you too. He left you some alone. I told him I didn't want it. Well, he always had a better idea. Listen, I have to go see my son. But, uh... I'll be back. I'll come back for you, Pauline. Full of no 